And it starts off by being a leader by example. Um, and a lot of people kind of stop there, but it ends up absolutely, of course, being the core. And four things in particular, by demonstrating commitment, by demonstrating confidence, composure under pressure, and having strong character. In addition, and you'll see that that has to stay at the core. A vocal leader, because there are kind of two types of leaders. Sometimes you just have your leaders by example and they're quiet and that's okay. And you might find that if you're choosing captains, you have one person that's great vocally um, and another one that's great by example. So maybe you have to kind of pair them up. Not everybody can have all these skills, but in an ideal sense, you'll have a leader by example who will have these core things. And then uh, in addition, also be able to be vocal. And the two roles that that person would have as we discussed was to be an encourager as well as to be an enforcer. So confidence, confidence is a fragile thing. Boy, you will see it in a game in a quarter after one or two shots or one or two bad things that happen. How, I was just talking to an athlete this morning about it. It's like, but we get so invested in this concept of confidence and how, but how fragile it is if we have to depend on it. And why, if I'm the exact, you know, relatively the exact same person I am in the fourth quarter that I was in the first quarter, why would I think so differently about how great or terrible I am and then have it affect the way that I play? Um, you got to be mentally tough and leaders, they, can't, they have to maintain this confidence through all sorts of adversity and situations. Maybe we don't reinforce the strengths enough and this is actually great for mental toughness as well too. But look, if, you, if you're really quick, work on quickness and widen the gap even more. And so reminding athletes about their strengths and then leaders reminding other teammates about their strengths is great. And then to keep confidence going, when something does go wrong, there are three characteristics that you want to look at setbacks. You want to understand and recognize that it's, it's temporary. You know, losses, once you have it, doesn't mean that you're going to lose every other game that ever happens. If you're getting into a slump or something, everything that ever goes wrong in any of our lives is temporary. Nothing ever stays the same. Anything that's good is temporary too, by the way. But <laughs> the whole idea that everything changes. So we don't feel that though when we're in a loss or when we're doing poorly. It's also very specific. When athletes start to say, oh, you know, I missed I, I miss the shot, I suck. No, 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 that's way too general. You're still who you are. You missed the shot. Keep it very, very specific. One shot in one game at one time.